Hey, hello everybody, how are you? I hope you doing great. And today is gonna talk about um, my veggie pad and my plants and also how to be healthy when we go to the supermarkets. All right, this I had this dilemma when I was exploring a little bit of um, how to be healthy. And every time I go to the supermarkets, I just found everything was wrong and everything was with pesticides and everything was um, processed and all those kind of things. So I discovered the health stores and then I start using vitamins and minerals which I'm not using now anymore because I found different ways of um, promoting my health and in a cheaper way as well and, and healthier obviously it's from nature so I recommend you to go to the health store first explore a little bit and there's many things in, in bulk from the health stores like beans and fruits and veggie, the fresh ones, some breads, they're nice as well. If you don't give up mm, milk, you can use, um, you can eat some of the goat milk that they are the, the best, I guess. I'm not, I'm not eating that much anymore, but maybe once in a while I had this goat cheese or goat milk which is a little bit smaller and the protein is smaller and it's better for, for human, I guess. No, the, the cow ones are, the proteins are much bigger because the calves are giant when they, they born and the, the weight is so big. Uh, at the same time, milk companies got like um, antibiotics and hormones and things like that, that I don't like unless it's um, organic um, yeah but I give up cow milk good on me <laughs> anyway so yeah try to go to the health store which some sometimes they got a um, fresh produce and uh, where I, I sometimes go to to get some wild blueberries which I found a place in Belcon and in Canberra that they sell the frozen wild blueberries and I use it in my cereals with seeds and chia seeds and coconut milk and oh it's so yummy I get this shape coconut chips as well oh, so amazing if you're craving for sugar and you want to give up sugar you can start with monk fruit or stevia pure stevia don't buy from the supermarket because it's mixed with erythritol which I don't recommend. Some people would like to have it, but it, I, I go for more natural stuff. Even it's a little bit processed, but yeah, sometimes it's great for sugar, so I get that sweet taste. And, and yeah, um, I start eating more veggies. At least half of the plate should be vegetables, vegetables and fruits. That's how I found out about vitamin C. I was taking tablets first, but it makes no sense because um, we we have it all in in back in in nature, which are the plants, and they got all together in a team like ascorbic acid and vitamin C. It's a complex of a vitamin, and we need it all. So instead of taking three or four tablets. Just why not? Just eat more vegetables and uh, and fruit and a little bit of fermented food like sauerkraut. That's great. And yeah, it it is start eating that. Mm. And yeah, if you want to give up a little bit of 
gluten for a while or if you want to go vegan or vegetarian for a while why not i i did few months and i feel great because i explored a lot of new things that i haven't tried in my life and then i survive and it's just great i love meat as well i love fish but i at least i eat in less amount so now i'm gonna show you my veggie pad with a, i have a little bit of hydro hydroponics no it's aquaponics so it's a mix of fish or freshwater animals uh, we got crayfish as well and we got some mint here growing and some chives so it's a really cool ecosystem a little bit like that because my my rabbit can can drink very easy. It's a free range rabbit. I wish we have chickens, free range chickens, maybe one day. But at the moment, with the guinea pigs and rabbits, is enough. I'm gonna show you something around here. This is kale. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing vegetable that is. Um, Uh, frost tolerant. These are the mm, sunflowers, shallots. I got corns. I got mm, more vegetables here. This one here. I got some some of the wildlife weeds, but. I'm eating them so I don't destroy them. I got aloe vera there, I got sweet potato that the leaves are edible. <laughs> well, someone was calling me from Hong Kong. Okay, I just want to tell you something. This one is, I'm not sure if you can see it yet. This is um, dandelion and the flower is edible. And these are the leaves. They are a little bit bitter in taste, but they're great for our health. If you don't like the bitterness, you can add it in salads and things like that. So you don't get that strong flavor. And yeah, this is a little bit of my veggie pad. I got some um, basil there and rosemary. Some rucola. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something else. Mm. This kale is so tasty. I come here to my garden from time to time. Just so fresh. Well, so from time to time, no. Every day, this is rosemary. And <clears throat> I know you guys no, all of you guys got um, a house with with place to plant things. But look, this is a cabbie house, my son's cabbie house, and um, I plant them some some of the chives here. They grow so well. These are nasturtiums. A little bit of um, what is that? Uh, sweet potato. Then more things here. Oh, rucola. Um, rocket, rocket. Look at the flower of the rocket. It's so tasty. Mm. Then this one is nasturtium. The nasturtium flowers are great. You can eat them as well. I'll show you. Sorry, flower, but you're so beautiful and um, tasty. Hmm, they got this peppery flavor in salad. Oh, it's so spicy, but it's super good. And I got some tomatoes growing here, and this is from from a pot. So. 
I show you the pot. The pot is like that. It's a large pot. All right. I got two here. One here with a hole, but this one. So the trick for these ones is because there's no hole. The the water is stank at the bottom so all the plants absorb that water and they don't die they just amazing they growing so crazy and fast <laughs> no. are you hungry yeah. I give you this. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was looking at me yeah so they grow so well that it's easy to to plant them in in pots because I just found out it's like even if you go on holiday for two weeks, <laughs> water them, and and you have them for for a long long time. And yeah, I found out here in camera we got the problem of drought, so we have to water the plants every day at least twice twice a day. If it's summer so I try to do more mulch and put more grass on it I found out that putting the 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 grass the dead grass wherever you mow the lawn put it on top don't worry about the weeds the weeds are good you can eat them as well like this uh, yellow sorrel I'm eating I'm eating the dandelion um there's few the things that that the edible they the the seasonal so every time dandelion is more like all year round but few of the ones they the seasonal they come only in season and yeah don't 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 give up because look we got our right to be healthy our entire life um, this is promoting love and health. Um, I hope you like this video and and share with your family and friends because it's so easy to be healthy. Try for a while. Try a little bit of bone broth, a chicken broth. Try um, a sandwich of vegetable. Leave a little bit of meat away for a while. Why not? Give up something this new year for new year resolution. Why not? Well, it's February, but you know what? Still the beginning of the year. Yeah, so I wish you well. Share this video. Thank you so much. Peace out.